Hello, my name is Glenn Rhodes. I am an energy consultant with Trinity Solar. And two years ago, I was in the National Solar Tour where I showcased my PV solar rooftop home and answered questions. And this year, on October 1st and 2nd, I will be having my solar home, which also now has storage with two Tesla power walls, which allow me to back up 27 kilowatt hours of storage available for the public and anyone interested to come and see and ask me questions. You see, I work for Trinity Solar, but I'm also a solar stakeholder with Rhode Island's energy office. So I tell everybody that I meet with that you should download, if you live in Rhode Island, the residential guide on how to go solar. If you just simply Google energy office Rhode Island, the O-E-R, office of energy, it will take you right to, you can click on the solar page and you'll see basically the things I recommend. They're highlighted here. So first, I would advise you to check out net metering. You see the key is to figure out which way you want to be interconnected at the end. Net metering is much, much better than the old feed-in tariff called REG. I recommend customers, residential customers, to stay away from REG. Look at net metering. Look at basically the REF. What's that? Well, that's a Rhode Island grant funded through Commerce Rhode Island that can get you up to $5,000 back today with net metering. This year, if you qualify, if you qualify, you need a sun score TSRF over 80%. I can help you understand. If you qualify for this state grant, if you own your system, you will get the government incentives. And my job, what makes me different from everybody else, is I try to maximize your government incentives. How do I do that? Well, first of all, I got this grant from my family back in 2019, and I've gotten for 200, um, 125 Rhode Islanders since then, hopefully soon 200. But also, I can used to be a CPA, so I can tell you about how to capture and you know how the tax credit, which just went up to 30% as part of the Inflation Reduction Act for another 10 years, how to capture that 30% tax credit for your PV solar system, for your energy storage if you decide to add qualified backup at the Tesla Power Walls that I did, or the Generac PRW cell, which we also can help you with at Trinity. Lastly. There's some exciting stuff going on in the future. Um, the state actually wants to electrify everything to reduce our carbon footprint across this state. So what are they doing? Well, they're rolling out other incentives. I also just took advantage of the new, as of July, there is a incentive from the Rhode Island Energy Office for Rhode Islanders who buy an EV from a qualified, from a dealership in Rhode Island. So I bought a Hyundai Ionic 5, which I have two weeks now, been driving it, love it. I charge it from my roof. I basically have a range of 300 miles, which gets me through a busy sales day, many appointments. And what I love most about it, my key insight is it's smart technology. So my eyes are on the road, not on my phone and it will reduce, keep me safer, and also keep others safer. I think this technology with EVs, smarter technology is gonna keep people's eyes on the road and reduce basically distracted driving, which is a big problem really in every state. So if you wanna learn about these things, come by my house on, again, the weekend of October 1st and 2nd coming up this is this weekend, so two, two weekends from now. So um, come by and we'll have a good time. I'll show you everything and answer all your questions.